The Anglican Church of Trinidad and Tobago, in celebration of its 150th anniversary, presents our daily scripture reflection. The reading is taken from Romans chapter 6, verses 17 and 18. But thanks be to God that you, having once been slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to the form of teaching to which you were entrusted, and that you, having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. Here ended the reading. The whole of Romans chapter 6 talks about the freedom from the tyranny of sin, in other words, the slavery of sin and the bondage of sin. Paul in verse 17 and 18 expressed thanks to God for the deliverance and the freedom from sin's slavery. From the slavery to sin and from the bondage of sin. Not only was Paul thankful for the freedom from sin, he was also thankful that they have become slaves to righteousness. Depending on the Bible version we use, the word slave is interchangeable with servant. Just like the Romans in Paul's days, we were lost in sin. I understand that sin at its root is disobedience to God, is disobedience to God's word. It is disobedience to God's leading, God's ways, is disobedience to God's offer of salvation. I understand that sin has over time invaded, has occupied and possessed the lives of those who live in sin, as it were, bringing them to that place of being slaves unto sin. In time past, for example, in the days of Noah, sin was so predominant that it controlled the lives and the thoughts of the people of that days. The scripture in Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 says about that. The Lord observed the extent of human wickedness on earth and saw that everything they thought or imagined was consistently and totally evil. So the Lord was sorry he had ever made them and put them on the earth. It broke his heart. That was how bad it was in the days of Noah. I suspect it wasn't any difference in the days of Paul. When he wrote the letters, this particular letters to the Romans, I also do suspect that it isn't much any difference today. However, one thing stands out. I could see that the difference is that a group of people in those days when Paul was preaching wholeheartedly obeyed the teaching of Paul about Jesus Christ and his offer for the deliverance from the bondages and the slavery of sin. These people moved from the world of slavery to sin to the world of slavery to righteousness. The same offer is available to us today. The decision and choice to wholeheartedly obey the teaching of the scripture so that we too may be free from the slavery of sin. Free from shame, free from guilt of sin. Free from a Christ-less eternity. Free to worship, to honor, to serve God. As it were, Taking this posture of the servant, taking this posture and attitude as a slave would in the service of the Lord. In other words, allowing ourselves to be sold out to God's purpose and God's vision and God's calling, seeking to obey His word, bearing in mind that Jesus Christ told His disciples that He who wants to be great must be the servant of all, and He who wants to be the first must be the slaves of all. And to this end, God in His infinite mercy and in His power, according to 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3, says His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His glory and goodness. Added to that, John chapter 1 verse 12 says, but to all who did receive him, to those who believe in him, he gave the right 
Another version says he gave the privilege. Yet another version says he gave the authority. And the fourth version says he gave the power to become sons of God, to become children of God. Brethren, we have all it takes, for God has given it to us to live a life of righteousness, to walk before Him free of guilt, to walk before Him full of strength and hope and love. As we do this and continue to walk, may the Lord bless us and help us. God bless you. My name is Dr. Daniel Unebo. I worship at the St. Patrick Church in the St. Patrick Parish. Brought to you by the Anglican Church of Trinidad and Tobago, celebrating its Triple Jubilee.